Hello, my beautiful friends. I hope you're doing amazing. Today, we're going to be talking about the new Makeup by Mario lipsticks, comparing them to my other current favorite lipsticks. <laughs> Hi, if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing before you leave. We talk about makeup over here and let's get into it. Okay, so I've actually already filmed this video and I didn't like how it turned out. So I'm going to do it again. <laughs> um, I picked up two shades from the new Makeup by Mario lipstick collection. I love everything that I've tried from Makeup by Mario so far, so I was very excited for these lipsticks. I picked up the shade Alicia, which is the red that I'm wearing right now. And I also picked up the shade Garth, which is more of a brown. And it's kind of funny. I mean, it is a brown. Um, this lipstick came a little misshapen. I don't know how exactly they make the bullet lipsticks, but I hope you can see. Um, I think something happened when it was pressed. The lipstick still works fine. Still um, beautiful opacity and all that but it's a little misshapen so I wonder what happened in production I really hope that you can see it um so when I was looking through the colors of the makeup by Mario lipsticks they all looked a little pink to me they looked a little bit more pink than I usually go for so I went with the brown and the red um because I really am not a huge fan of pink lipstick unless it's just Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk and then I like pink, that pink specifically, but otherwise I really don't have very many pink lipsticks. Reds, however, I love. So I went ahead and swatched the other reds, my other favorite reds, um, and all of these lipsticks that I have that are my favorites, I have multiples of because my lipstick collection is a little bit bigger and I know that if I want to purchase more of that formula, that they're good and they're worth the money. So I went ahead and swatched first the Makeup by Mario Alicia. Let me just show you. This is Alicia right here on the top. Yeah, right over there, yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have Pat McGrath Elson 3 right underneath it. And then Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon, iconic. And then Bite Beauty Hot Tomato. And then I did swatch Garth for you. I don't have any other more brownie lipsticks in my collection. Um, so this really does add something for me, for sure. Um, so, Makeup by Mario is what I'm wearing right now. And it almost, it feels like it's the most neutral of, um, of the reds. It's more of a neutral red. It's very, very soft. Very similar to all three of these formulas. These are my top favorite lipsticks. Um, opacity is amazing with every single one. Um, the, I just... They're wonderful. <laughs> um, I love all of these brands. The formulas are so good. So uh, that's Makeup by Mario feels the most neutral. Uh, Elson 3 Pat McGrath is very, very pigmented. One swipe and it is there. It is also the most shiny out of all of them. And um, it is still shiny on the swatch. And this has been on my arm for a little bit because I was filming for like 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> and it's still shiny. So I think eventually the Pat McGrath dries down to a matte, but definitely not as fast as the others. And it's very, very pigmented. Um, Lisa Eldridge has more of a blue undertone. Very, very slight blue undertone, not super intense but um, it's there. It's more blue than the Makeup by Mario and uh, so soft and velvety and I love Lisa Eldridge's formula. It is so good. If you haven't tried it, you're missing out. <laughs> and then, um, oh, and then Bite Hot Tomato. Hot Tomato is funny. It's more of a, on the lips, it translates to more of a, a pinky red. 
Um, so yeah, not super warm, more of a pinky red, at least on me. Um, so, uh, and then Garth, of course, is a brown. It's a cool tone, brown, beautiful. Um, I love, love the cool tone brown. It's perfect for this fall time and for like a brown smoky eye and just a multi-chrome moment. I a multi-chrome. Uh, monochromatic moment. That's the word. <laughs> so, um, but these Makeup by Mario lipsticks are out of all four of my favorite formulas, I feel like Makeup by Mario is the most user friendly. Of all the Makeup by Mario products that I've tried, I feel like he definitely has geared his brand more towards the um, makeup beginner. And the, they're just so simple to use and um, it's, it's so hard to describe, but putting the Makeup by Mario on is more simple and was easier to stay inside my lip lines compared to the Pat McGrath. It's so much more slippy and easier to mess up. I mean, I, I hope that makes sense. It's hard to describe. Um, but yeah, I mean, absolutely 100% recommend worth the money. If you were thinking about picking one up, I love how he uh, did the names. He let his team name them after themselves. And I think that is so, so cool. Um, and, uh, there wasn't an Audrey shade, but Alicia starts with an A. So, um, and it's a red and I love reds, <laughs> but if you have a shade in mind, I would recommend picking it up. It is worth the money. They're gorgeous. They're user-friendly. Um, I can't do a wear test today, but I will leave um, in the description box. I will update you guys on how it wore. And um, yeah, I w expect a versus comparison battle with some of these lipsticks coming up. I want to see which ones wear better and um, which ones, you know, if they get flaky or weird or anything like that. Um, so I can recommend only the bestest to you guys. <laughs> okay. Leave me a comment down below. What are your favorite lipsticks? What's your favorite brand of lipstick? Bullet lipsticks are my personal favorite right now. Um, and yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs> Sam? Yeah, let me see if I can do this. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you. Oh, I really want to do the other side. I really hope.